Okay, I'm redoing this question because a mistake was flagged. I forgot to square root. Ah. Because of that, I'm re-recording the whole thing. But thank you for catching that. I really appreciate that. So just sub this in at 6 plus 2i minus 6i minus 2i squared. That's minus 4i plus 8. Or in other words, 8 minus 4i. The modulus of z squared, that would be, uh, let's look at its coefficients, um, 6 and 2, so 36 plus 4, which is 40. Multiplying it by z, uh, by i, is just going to swap them around, so it's going to be 4 plus 36, which is still 40. And then the last guy we thankfully have worked out is 8 minus 4i, so that would be 64 plus 16, which is 80. And indeed, 40 plus 40 does equal 80. So that means that this side here is root 40, not 40, Stephen. And this side here is root 40. So from Pythagoras, that's uh, 4 root 5. So you divide that by 2 to get the radius. The area is going to be pi or squared. So that's going to be 20 pi. OK. Root 3 and minus i, that's here. So um, the or is square root, root 3 squared plus 1 squared. So that's 2. And then tan theta is equal to minus 1 over root 3, which means that the theta, as expected, is minus 30. So in polar form, this will be 2, bracket, cos minus 30, plus i sine minus 30. And uh, De Morgan said power 9, the 9 just goes on to this guy, and then multiplies the angles. So this will end up being 0 plus 512i, I think. Sine minus 30 times 9 is 1 times 2 power 9. Yeah, 512. So 0 and 512. Yeah, OK. Thank you very much for flagging that. In my haste, I forgot the route.